Okay, now we're going to talk about the biomechanics of a basketball player. And it's very important as coaches that we understand the body positioning and staying on balance and the importance of balance in the game of basketball. And here at Elodia, we like to tell our kids that basketball is a game of balance and get them to understand that body control and balance and always being uh, in a position uh, of balance puts you uh, in, a, in an opportunity to be successful when you're playing the game. So we always want our guys to, to be aware of what stance they're in and having control of their body. Now when we talk about that and being on balance, the number one thing for me in the game of basketball is that our kids uh, are always in an athletic stance. And let's talk about an athletic stance a little bit. It starts from the ground up, and you're going to hear that throughout our program. It's from the ground up, from the ground up, because being a successful basketball player, a lot of people play with their hands and their upper bodies, and we want our kids to understand that it really starts with their lower bodies. So an athletic stance and a good athletic position, we want our feet wider than shoulder width apart, okay? Feet wider than shoulder width apart. Um, Knees flexed in a good athletic stance, okay? Hands, you know, doesn't really uh, come into play. It depends on whether you're offense or defense. But really, as coaches, you can watch kids' heads. And if we get head bobbers, now you know that they're probably out of a stance. And that's real important for us when we're watching our kids play. Uh, a great example is kids growing up, when they're playing defense, They'll be standing, and then they'll be guarding. And then they're standing, and then they're guarding. And we call them head bobbers. And so we want to be always being in an athletic stance. It puts us in a position to read and react and be as quick as possible on the basketball floor. Okay, so that stance is feet wider than shoulder width, knees flexed. We want to keep our head over our midsection. Okay, keep our head over our midsection. It keeps us on balance. A lot of kids, you tell them to get low, and the first thing they do is do this. And now the head gets out in front of their body. And by doing that, their weight shifts to leaning forward, and they're actually off balance. And so getting low really means in a position where you're dropping your backside and your knees, and we keep our head over our midsection to help us be on balance at all times. So basketball is a game of balance, and that's huge uh, for our kids to be able to have, a, have an opportunity to be successful. Okay, so now we got ourselves in a great position of balance and our kids understand the importance of balance and basketball is a game of balance. We're going to hear that throughout the whole program. We want to talk about footwork, which is vital to the success of our kids and the basic fundamentals uh, with, with which they're going to take to the floor every night. Okay, and in footwork, we're really going to look at our feet and we really want to talk uh, pivot foot. And, and, and we're going to kind of introduce that, and then throughout the program, you're going to hear that this whole time is, is different footwork, okay? Left foot front pivot, left foot doesn't move, and we're pulling ourselves, we're in an athletic stance, and when we say left foot front pivot, we really want to pull ourselves forward, okay, with our body. A left foot reverse pivot, left foot doesn't move, we're going to pull ourselves backwards, okay? So that would be a left foot front pivot, left foot reverse pivot. A right foot front pivot, we're in a good athletic stance, pull yourself forward, right foot front pivot. And then we get a right foot reverse pivot, get in a good athletic stance, right foot doesn't move, pull yourself backward for a reverse pivot. The one thing you need to understand with kids when they're using footwork, and we're going to use it throughout the whole process to really set up shots and get ourselves on balance and be able to have great body control, the footwork is key to that, um, is watch their head throughout the process. A lot of kids, you go, to, you go to pivot, and as they turn, they rise up, and now they become head bobbers. We want to stay in a stance, the whole position, whole position of the body as we're making a pivot, okay? So pivot work and footwork is vital to us being successful shooters, and it's real important to us as coaches that we understand what a left and right foot front and reverse pivot is so that it helps us communicate and teach to our kids. Okay, now that we've talked a little bit about uh, the biomechanics of basketball without the ball and got an understanding of balance and understanding of footwork, uh, without those basic fundamentals, it's going to be hard to be a successful player at any level. So 
those are real important segments for us to be successful as we grow up. Uh, we want to bring the ball into play now and really talk about uh, an athletic stance with the ball in our hands and what we're looking to teach our kids when they have the ball in their hands. And, and we like to refer to it as the triple threat position, and uh, meaning we're in an athletic stance with the ball in our hands in a triple threat position. The triple threat meaning I can do one of three things with the ball. From this position, I can take it and put the ball on the floor to dribble. From this position, I can step and make a pass. And from this position, I can go up and rise up and shoot. So when our kids catch the basketball, we always want them to be in a triple threat position. It puts them in a mode of attack on their defenders. And we want to be attacking for 94 feet on offense and defense here at Elodia. And that's what we're looking to accomplish. So by being in a triple threat position, we put a lot of pressure on our defender because we can do one of three things. And that's what we're really looking to do. We're in a good athletic stance, heads over our waist. We keep our hands. I like to bring the ball, what we call the shooter's pocket. We're going to bring it right into the shooter's pocket. And from this position, we can do any one of three things to be able to attack our defender. Contrary to if we get the ball and immediately put it above our head, which a lot of kids do, it puts us in a position that the first thing we got to do to dribble is bring it down. The first thing we got to do to pass, unless we're making a pass from here, is bring it down. And the first thing we got to do to shoot, very rarely do you shoot from this position, it puts us in a position that we have to bring it down and gather ourselves. So we lose not only uh, balance and strength by being in this position, which is not real strong, we also lose that timing factor. We're losing split seconds that it takes to reload and gather yourself, and the game changes every half second. So for us, it's real important to get our kids to understand that every time they catch the ball, we want to be in a triple threat position and ready to attack, and we can do one of three things. We can dribble, we can pass, we can shoot.